Hi, welcome to Meek Electronics. In this video, we're going to fix stick drift on an Xbox controller in just four easy steps. Step one. To confirm the stick drift, I'm using an online gamepad tester. You can see on the left stick axis that the input is moving, even though I'm not touching the joystick. Step two. Before we move on, it's a good idea to clean around and underneath the joystick. Use an air duster or air suitor to blow out any dust or small debris that may be trapped inside. You can also gently lift the stick and check for dirt or particles around the base. Sometimes just removing this buildup can make a big difference in reducing stick drift. Step three. Next, we'll remove the joystick module. To get to it, you'll need to take out the five screws holding the controller casing together. Once the screws are out, carefully separate the shell so you can access the stick module inside. Now, clean around the joystick and check for any dust or hairs. In my case, I actually found a hair stuck inside, which could definitely cause drift. After cleaning, confirm with the online gamepad tester to see if that solved the issue. If the drift is still there, then we'll carry on with removing the joystick module. Now the old module is out. Let's replace it with a new one and solder it back in. Step four. It's time to put the controller back together. Line up the casing, making sure all the buttons and triggers are seated properly then screw the five screws back in. Once it's secured, test the controller again with the gamepad tester to confirm the drift is completely gone. And that's it. We fixed stick drift on this Xbox controller. Remember, sometimes a simple clean will solve the problem, and other times you'll need to swap out the joystick module. Thanks for watching Meek Electronics, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more repair guides. See you in the next one.